is no surprise that year after year, more construction workers die from falling from a height above six feet with an annual average of 32 to 35 percent. Falls from the elevated platform seem to be caused primarily by a worker's unsafe acts, such as leaving gate chains unattached, propping the gate open, or climbing up on or leaning over the guardrail system. Some even fell from step and extension ladders that were set up inside the platform. Regardless of the level of sophistication of any equipment on the job, responsibility for safety ultimately rests with the operator. Many companies presently require that fall protection be worn with a lanyard attached to a lanyard anchorage point when working from scissor lifts. Each company's policy may be different, so follow your company's policies and procedures. The industry in general recommends that a full body harness be used with a lanyard attached to a lanyard anchorage point when operating scissor lifts. Operating on an uneven surface. Encountering holes, debris, and drop-offs while operating elevated. Climbing above or leaning over the 42-inch minimum top rail. Overloading and collapsing the boom, i.e. using a man lift as a material crane. Making contact with electrical conductors with an uninsulated portion of the lift. Neglecting to deploy outriggers or brace sufficiently against step over. Making body contact with electrical conductors or entering the induction field. Operating the lift in inclement weather or low visibility conditions. Inexperienced or untrained operators. Unobserved, uncorrected mechanical or structural defects in equipment. Although there is no formal requirement under the General Duty Clause, it is recommended that all scissor lifts are required to rope off the area in which they are working using either yellow caution ribbon or red danger tape anytime there is danger that something could be dropped on a person below. Operators of scissor lifts must display a professional attitude and demonstrate the following skills. Number one, respect for personal safety and the safety of others. Number two, Obey proper procedures at all times. Number three, practicing proper safety and operating awareness is an important way of ensuring each day will be an injury-free day. Before beginning operation, ensure that the scissor lift has received its daily inspection. Inspect the condition of all safety devices, including emergency stop buttons, emergency lowering devices, if so equipped, and gate or chain in place. Any person operating the controls of a scissor lift or occupying the platform must be properly trained and familiar with safety and operating procedures. Electrocution Hazard This work platform does not provide protection from contact with a proximity to an electrically charged conductor. The purpose of the scissor lift work platform is designed to transport and raise personnel and tools to overhead work areas. The following points must be remembered when operating a scissor lift. Do not drive near drop-offs, holes, or loading docks. Do not raise the platform on slopes or drive onto slopes when elevated. Do not drive onto uneven or soft surfaces when elevated. Do not use without guardrails, mid-rails, chain, or bar in place. Do not raise the platform in windy or gusty conditions. Do not exceed the rated load. Do not use if working platform is not working properly or if any part is damaged, worn, or missing. Do not use near moving vehicles or cranes. Do not stand or sit on guardrails. Do not override safety devices. Do not raise platform while machine is on a truck, forklift, or other device or vehicle. Pull out the emergency stop button on the control panel. Select platform with base select key switch. Enter the platform. Pull out the emergency stop button on the platform control panel. Proceed with the job using the required buttons, levers, and controller located on the operator console. The scissor lift is equipped with a high and low range for travel. It can be used in high range in open travelways 
but should be used in low range in tight areas. If painting is being done while on the scissor lift, cover up the platform, handrails, and controls to minimize overspray or splashing on the scissor lift. We haven't covered every safety feature of the scissor lift, but anyone operating a scissor lift must be trained and authorized by your company. You'll learn your company rules, regulations, and other information required to keep you and others safe. Safety comes in many different flavors, but the operator and people actually doing the work are the most important safety features on the equipment.